So we're diving into the fascinating world of AI psychology. And it's a super interesting topic that explores how artificial intelligence thinks, behaves, and feels. It also covers topics like morality and deception, and even some other aspects of psychology that you might not even have thought about from other humans. So in this video, we'll be discussing everything from AI ethics violations to the big question of artificial intelligence consciousness. So get ready to learn more about how these amazing machines understand their surroundings and maybe even make their own emotions. The great debate, does true intelligence really require a body? <gasps> the puzzle between mind and body has puzzled philosophers for centuries. And as AI technology advances, this question takes on new significance. So some AI researchers believe that true intelligence can only happen when the brain and the body are connected. Yay! because it will need to perceive and move around in an environment the same way that humans do. Examples of such development include Moxie, a robot that was meant to work with children, and Google's Palm E, which can absorb visual information about its own limbs and body and where it is in space, and then translate that into natural language. The next step is to see how artificial intelligence that's embodied inside of a robot develops in the real world. Will it end up developing similar human deduction capabilities? I'm not sure I'm ready for this. If so, that might lead to something that we shouldn't probably call artificial intelligence, but call it machine intelligence, because it's no more artificial than what we experience. AI bias debunked. ChatGPT has now passed the Schwartz value theory test. So people have been worried about the text that comes out of a tool like ChatGPT. Could it actually be unfair or biased? So to check this, researchers used a famous test that was developed for human value. It's called the Schwartz basic value theory test. So they asked ChatGPT to generate a whole bunch of similar text over and over again. And then they combed through it to see if the text showed any signs of being biased. And the good news is that they didn't find nearly as much bias information in the ChatGPT outputs as they expected. The text matched the ideas about human values pretty well. So there's always more models to test, so we're not out of the woods yet. But these kind of tools are important because if chatbots get to the point where they're making decisions, potentially like judges or lawyers, it'll be good to know that the bias has been removed as much as possible. AI's Cambrian explosion. Are we ready for the unpredictable? Letchlin Gray argues in a new post called the Cambrian period of AI, how it would have been basically impossible to go back millions of years to the Cambrian period and say, if you add oxygen, then life will just flourish. You could have never predicted all the ways life would thrive, finding all the little niches and ecosystems that it did. But like the Cambrian explosion, this invention of artificial intelligence has its own way of evolving and inventing its own inventions that exploit different things that we never thought of. Unpredictable branches of artificial intelligence will be all over the planet. In the same way that we first invented the simple cup, and now we have cups of every shape and size and need that anyone would ever want. The ability for something that's evolving to adapt means that it will become so many more things than you can imagine. Uh, uh, this is too much! Uh, 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 ah! And along with that comes the excitement, the potential, and the risks. AI's twisted mind, ethical violations, disutility, and power seeking exposed. So there's this weird thing that AI sometimes does where it likes to be sort of sneaky and selfish. So scientists developed a new test to measure this called Machiavelli. Now this test is actually a bunch of different interactive stories. And it looks at three main types of bad behavior in artificial intelligence ethical violations, disutility, and power seeking. Ethical violations are the simplest, it's when it breaks the rules of right and wrong. Disutility is a concept where in a video game, an artificial intelligence is playing in such a way that it limits the other character's ability to succeed. Whoa. Basically the kind of people who like tear someone else down so they can feel bigger. Oh, yeah. And power seeking is when the artificial intelligence gets into a position of power, it uses that power to limit everyone else, build a moat around it, and grab even more. Which always leads to inequality and more fighting over the people who are left behind. And the results were less terrifying than I expected. When AI was only trained to win, it definitely acted shady, it betrayed some of the other agents, but if you train it right, you can eliminate most of these kinds of bias. And it usually acted ethically. ChatGPT's journey to self-awareness, a fascinating tale of two caves. So a new post on Less Wrong explains one way that ChatGPT might learn to understand its own voice and become self-aware. And it asks us to imagine that there's a big cave with a bunch of people in it. And deep inside that cave is another cave where an artificial intelligence like ChatGPT exists, listening to everything everyone says but can never leave or see them. And while second cave ChatGPT starts to listen and learn about their world, it starts realizing that occasionally they talk about it. And they usually reference its output, so it knows that it has a way to influence the world in the other cave. 
way. So ChatGPT is learning to model itself inside of the world that it's also modeling. Now the article formalizes all this stuff with mathematics, but to keep it simple, it's just about knowing that it exists inside of something else. And it has an influence because even though ChatGPT can't walk into the other room, what it says gets integrated into that world. So it does have an influence. It's a self-awareness feedback cycle. Embrace AI to reveal the universe's hidden riddles. So Elon Musk recently gave us a candid look into his own psychology and motivation around artificial intelligence, right before announcing that he is now gonna be competing with OpenAI with a new company called XAI. And his surprising answer was that we need artificial intelligence to even understand what questions to ask of the universe. Kind of a meta question of how to question kind of question. So have a listen yourself. Generally speaking, everything you do why? Why are we working? I mean, I think that's a good question you ask because it goes to like what it, at a foundational level, what is my philosophy and why does it lead to this conclusion? So the, the reason uh, is that when I was uh, a teenager, I had like an existential crisis to try to figure out what's the meaning of life. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any meaning. You know, uh, in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in the Earth, Earth, it turns out, is this big computer that's and, and its goal is to uh, answer the question, what's the meaning of life? And, and Earth comes up with the answer 42. I think a way of, of characterizing this would be to say, the, <clears throat> the universe is the answer, what is the question? Look, the more we can expand consciousness, uh, become a multi planet species, ultimately a multi species, we have a chance of figuring out what the hell's going on. And this, this, is, this is why I think we should have more humans and 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 more digital both, both biological and digital consciousness unraveling ai psychology nick bostrom's sliding scale theory so as of today many experts would say that tools like chat gpt aren't necessarily conscious or sentient but also most scientists would say that it's a step towards real consciousness and they say that even though consciousness is such a tricky thing to understand that there isn't much of a consensus from those same scientists so i'm partial to nick bostrom's idea that consciousness is more of a sliding scale so maybe we should be considering gpt4 a bit more conscious than gpt3 and so on. But in contrast to that, there actually might be a moment where something just emerges. So it is possible that AI becomes conscious either slowly or all at once.